I can tell you this much. My lawyers aren't stolen. They're trying to make sense of the charges. Well, they're pretty straightforward, actually. You've been charged with, among other things, criminal conspiracy and attempted murder. Just who did I try to kill? Kelly Spencer? Didn't she doesn't believe Anna Devane and Dante Falconeri. When Anna and the detective showed up with their guns drawn, I might add, I wasn't holding a weapon. I made no threatening moves whatsoever. Now, granted, there was a slight misunderstanding with Miss Spencer. I neglected to tell her that I was the director of the WSB, and she mistakenly thought that she had to defend herself. Now, Anna, on the other hand, she knew exactly what she was doing when she came through that door. That was a nice deflection. Mm -hmm. I was talking about the hit you put out on Anna and Dante at the pier. But let's talk about Anna's involvement in your takedown. Very convenient, wasn't it? Well, that's not how I felt when she had a, a gun trained on me at point blank range. And I happen to know from prior experience, she's an expert shot. Now, if this lackluster interrogation is over, I'm getting very tired. You and Commissioner Devane were at the WSB together in the 80s, weren't you? You know we were. So what are the odds that when you get busted, your old friend crashes through the door at the perfect moment to take you down? I'll catch up with Christina later. It just seems strange that she'd go radio silent. She's in her final trimester. The baby's due in August. It just... Stands to reason that we would want to know how our baby's doing. Maybe go with her to her next doctor's appointment. I could check with Dr. Navarro. I, I wouldn't. You know how Christina feels about boundaries. Molly, I understand boundaries, but I also understand that we are the baby's parents. Yes. Right, so we, I'm so sorry to interrupt, Molly. I really need to speak with you as soon as you have a free moment. Oh, no, no, yeah, I'm, I'm free now. What's up? TJ, would you mind giving us a moment? I've got rounds. Uh, see you home, What can I do for you? Have you seen the invader today? No, um, I've been pretty busy today. Why? Well, Laura Collins is attempting to free Heather Weber, and I'm extremely concerned. I would just like to know how the DA's office would plan to fight this. I understand completely how you feel. You want to protect Trina, and you have every right. What about everybody else's rights? Randall Corbin, Rory Cabrera, Britt Westbourne. Those young people have a right to live. Heather killed those people. What about the survivors, David Jerome, Diane Miller? Have you once asked them how they feel about you reopening Heather's case? Heather does not deny her crimes. Okay? I... I'm having a hard time locking this woman away for the rest of her life when she may not have possessed the, uh, the mental capacity to tell the difference between right and wrong. Those people are dead still either way. I know that, but the mental losses could have been the deciding factor there. Now, I think that should go. I think it must go in the record. And if it alters her sentence? Oh. That's for the court to decide. Okay. What I can tell you is that no motion has been filed that I'm aware of. There's no hearing scheduled. Whatever's in this article, it's pure speculation. Would your mother know you no more? I doubt it. She's been out of town the last few days, and she only just got back. She's probably going to be livid this got published without her. It's full of holes. But if a motion is filed, how are you going to fight it? Heather's attorney is probably going to argue that Heather is not guilty because she lacked the mens rea to commit the crime. There was no way for Heather to be in control of her actions because the cobalt poisoning was controlling her behavior. Therefore, she is not responsible for what she did. And if she's no longer responsible and no longer a danger to others... No, that woman is a danger to others. And don't give me this technicality about the diagnosis of cobalt poisoning, really allowing this woman to walk free. I mean, isn't it the DA office's duty to see that justice is done and to ensure that this woman remains behind bars? You owe her victims that much.